This might not look like much, but this is my safe. These are all the parts and pieces that come with it that you need to put it together. I'm going to put it together kind of in fast forward. Um, the only thing I need is a screwdriver. All right, so I'm done. That full build took about 31 minutes. Uh, it didn't take too long, but I did use a screwdriver instead of a drill because I want to get a realistic time if you're going to use a, a screwdriver would be the longest time. So a drill is going to be significantly shorter to put this safe together. Now, uh, let's start with the inside. Now I'll go over some of the outside features. Uh, inside, you got the bottom shelf. You got these nice little holders here, which if I really want to put a second rack, they have these little holes on the side. So I'll be able to mount a second rack if I want to put different shelves. It just depends on what I put in here. You also have this nice little shelf on the top that goes all the way back. Uh, make sure you don't make my mistake by putting this shelf on the bottom because then you have a hole in the bottom and then you can't close the door with that one. So I had to swap that out. I'll show a close up view of this uh, as I'm going through it, but you have six pins. So there's three on each side that holds the door on. Uh, the inside right here is actually where your battery pack is. So this little battery pack that comes with it, this is a spare in case the batteries die. You plug this in and it'll charge up your keypad or just use your key. Uh, but right behind this little panel, you're gonna see is four AA batteries. Those don't come with it. Then you have your reset button and then a little light in here. Now, if I close the door and you can hear the, uh, the actual hardware rolling around, I forgot to mention. So I didn't put the wall mounts in because this is obviously not the place where it's gonna be. I'm gonna put this in a different place, but this is the best spot to video putting it together. Now, if we close it, you can see on the front here, you have three ways to access the safe. That's uh, fingerprint, key code, and the key. I uh, haven't set this up yet, but uh, the key works real nice. You turn to lock, and you take your key out, and it's locked. So you can't unlock it. Uh, and the keyhole down here actually can be hidden if you don't want to use that. This is just maybe a spare. It comes with a little plug I have over here. It just plugs up this hole so you don't see it. But um, just for this purpose, since I haven't set this up, just turn it. Do it like that. Real easy to set up though. It's in the user manual. It shows a quick few steps on how to do it. Uh, but my overall review I'd say on this safe is, I think it's gonna be amazing safe for what I need to do with it. The size is perfect for size reference. I'm five foot seven, 176 pounds. Uh, and you saw when I was building, I was actually kind of getting in there. So it's it's got a good bit of room. Um, that's about it. Uh, that's the full build and kind of the details of this safe. And I uh, can't wait to fill it with all my stuff.